Hi, Stefan Smith of Art Smith Craftworks. I'm working on a steampunk airship propeller. Big surprise, right? Working on something for a steam, uh, steampunk airship. But this is a propeller for uh, one of the Mackie size airships that I'm doing. And I made this one a little bit more ornate than usual. So I want to show you kind of how I did that. So what I've done to make this propeller that I'm talking about is I started with just a simple paint stick that you would get at your uh, home improvement place or hardware store, obviously just to stir paint with. And most of the time they're made out of a pretty good quality hard wood that, that really cuts well, it's strong, uh, it's durable, and, and I use it all the time. Um, I also use some of these wooden wheels that you can find in a lot of different places, craft stores, hobby shops, what have you. In fact, these um, I actually bought at a garage sale because I saw somebody that was getting rid of a bunch of them. So I actually have a couple bags of these and they work out really well as the, the center hub for a propeller. And in another video that you may have already seen, I showed a jig that I've built that allows me to drill holes in that at uh, you know nice precise angles and, and intervals so that I have a nice evenly spaced um, blade on the propellers. Um, so I use that as the centerpiece, and then for this one, uh, I also use some of these little flat uh, wooden wafers. You can buy these in craft stores, or you could make something similar to this by cutting it out yourself. I mean, probably an X-Acto knife and you know a template uh, would be enough to cut this really thin. It's it's really kind of like thin plywood. You can cut pieces out like this, or you can buy them already done, or you can even use uh, like really heavy cardstock. Honestly, I use cereal box cardboard for a lot of things. It works really well and when it's painted you don't know what it is. You don't know that it's you know not something that you uh, paid more money for the original material for. Anyway, so what I did was I drew um, a shape that I wanted the propeller blades to be and on my bandsaw I cut that shape out and it's kind of an ornate involved shape. I don't have those intermediate steps because honestly I got a little ahead of myself and so I don't have any intermediate steps to show you. But you can see based on these pieces that I cut out that it's kind of a you know an ornate uh, almost scrolly kind of a, a pattern. And then I left a little bit on the end that winds up sticking into these holes so that the, the propeller blades stick into the central hub and then this one on the end. So what I wound up with um, well, let me back up a step and say, once I rough sanded that and then finish sanded it, I wanted to stain it. And you can use stain that you would buy in a hardware store as well, but what I often wind up doing, because there's so many more colors available and it's so easy to use, is I'll take just an art marker and, and use the, the broad tip on an art marker to, to color or stain the, the wood. And so... I, I used a green one to stain the hub and a green one, this green one to stain the, the wafer here and then this goldenrod colored one to stain the, the blade itself and what I wound up with was this. So it's kind of a really ornate looking wooden uh, propeller blade and that fits nicely into the center hub and you just kind of adjust the the pitch on it so that they all match and glue it in there and what you wind up with is a more finished piece that looks like this so you wind up with a very nice uh, ornate victorian looking uh, propeller for one of my airships and i don't usually go this ornate but i wanted something that was kind of on the on the fancier side maybe because it's the holiday times and this sort of looks like almost almost Santa Claus Victorian or something like that. Not that I had that as my intention, but I was a little inspired to do something fancy. So with the, the piece that I was just showing you, that would go in here to, to complete the picture. And then we have a nice, beautiful, ornate propeller. So these are the kinds of things that you can do with just a little bit of uh, thought and imagination, a little bit of sketching beforehand, some pretty simple tools and some very simple materials. You can wind up with something that's gorgeous and adds a lot of um, value and a lot of aesthetic to whatever project you're working on. I'm Stefan Smith of Art Smith Craftworks, and this is what I do. I make stuff 
out of pieces that may have otherwise gotten thrown away or things that people wouldn't think to try to reuse. And I try to make beautiful artwork out of it that people can love and appreciate for years to come. Give me a like, share this with all your maker and do-it-yourself friends, and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hit a thousand subscribers within uh, the next year.